So today I am reviewing the um, new Kylie Summer Collection product. And I'm reviewing the Take Me On Vacation palette and the Send Me More Nudes lippies. Um, I'm pretty excited to share this with you guys. This is the look that I did. did to, uh, this is the look that I did today. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. So today for this review video, I'm going to use an artiste brush because I felt that this foundation was a little cakey with the Beauty Blender. So I'm going to see how it does with an artiste brush. And then if that doesn't work, then I will use um, a more dense brush than that. Like I have another brush that I can use. And then if not, I guess this foundation it just isn't blendable. Like on camera it looks great. It doesn't look super cakey, but... Blendable. I keep saying blendable. I mean buildable. Um, so I'm just going to try my Artiste brush. And for moisturizer today, I'm going to use this Argan Oil. Because I heard that um, oils like these can help moisturize your skin and clear it. Okay, for primer... You know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline. I'm going to put that in my T-zone where I get oily. I like that this foundation has a spatula, so you can put it right where you want it. It doesn't look as cakey um, as before. I think the Artiste brush helped a lot, but it clings to dry patches. Like I have a dry um, old acne scar and it is clinging like a mother to it. Look right there and it looks weird. So overall, it um, kind of gets a little cakey. But in pictures, you, in pitch, this is the best picture-taking foundation that I found. Like, it look, makes your skin look smooth. Like, from here, you're probably like, that doesn't look cakey at all. But it is a little bit up close. So now I'm going to conceal. Now I'm going to use the powder, can you even see that there, the powder that goes with it. Now I'm going to do bronzer, I'm probably going to be annoying people, but I'm going to use my Cocoa Collection palette. Why not keep Kylie in the family for today? Use the bronzer, and then I will be using the blush too, and then that peach highlight. So now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the Broadway Beauty one. So now I'm going to dive right into Z palette. 
So I purchased from literally the minute, like two minutes after it released, I purchased the Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette and the Send Me More Nudes um, lipsticks. And I got the matte, not the velvet. And I didn't get anything else because I am an eyeshadow palette collector. That is my favorite thing to collect. I don't really care about the highlighters. Um, I pretty much only care about her eyeshadows and her lipsticks because those are my favorite. So then I purchased this because I feel like it has every single um, nude lipstick you would ever need. Like I will never have to buy another freaking nude lipstick from her ever again now until they run out. So I was pretty happy about that, that they came out with this. So... I will, um, first, I will prep my eyes with the Wet n Wild Concealer, and then I will open the palette for you. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, this is probably the, one of the most, it's probably the stun most stunning palette she's ever come out with. It's perfect for summer, it's perfect for vacation, I love it. So, here's what the front looks like. It just says, take me on vacation. I'm going to open it. So, here's the colors. So, yeah, you got some creams. You got an ashy brown, some shimmers, like a lot of goldy, golden shimmers. And then chocolate shades to put in your crease. There's a mauve shade. I don't know if I would ever use this yellow shade but I might use it soon, I don't know. And then it has this beautiful blue shade. So first I'm just going to take this cream color shade and I'm going to set my concealer. I'm going to use this crease brush too today. For transition, I'm going to take this shade. It is Spray Tan, that's such a cute name. I'm going to put that as my crease color. Okay, so there's some kickback with this, but I can do it as long as it's a good formula. And I'm going to put that all over the lid, I think. I think now I'm going to put this deeper... Chocolate brown, it is in, is it palm tree? This is called palm tree, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna stick that in the crease, trying just to deepen it up. I'm not gonna put it all over my crease. So now I'm going to blend that out and I'm going to use spray tan to blend that out. I am going to put this bronzy shade in sunset. I'm going to put that all over. I think that'll be beautiful all over the place. So I'm just going to use this brush and I'm going to put it all over my lid, all over my crease. I love it. So I'm just going to fluff spray tan and sunset underneath the eye. I'm going to keep it very simple today. I am done with my look already. I think I might put this shade, it's in Summer 17, on the inner eyelid and corner. I'm going to use that shader brush. Add a nice gradient. Yeah, that's awesome. But I'm not going to do eyeliner today because I want this to be very 
natural looking, like not as glam, if you can understand what that means. Oh, I should probably do um, mascara. So I'm going to use my favorite at the moment. It's the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This mascara is amazing. I wore it all day one time working and I'm, I'm a CNA at a nursing home. So like I rarely put makeup on because it's just going to slide right off. But I wore this all day even at work. And my lashes were still lifted and voluminous. I was so surprised. So I really like this stuff. You should get some. So I'm going to put that on now. Ah! You don't even need falsies with this stuff. Oh, it's amazing. So now I'm going to do the lipstick swatches. So it, I'm going to show you the packaging. The packaging is so cute. It says send me more nudes, which is what I've been preaching to Kylie. I've wanted just a lot of more nudes to choose from. I'm a nude lipstick kind of girl because I have bright blonde hair. So I like to just tone it and I usually do like a super glam look on the eyes because I'm extra like that and I like to tone it down with a nude lip so you pop it out of this packaging and that's what it looks like it reminds me of her um, outfits she came out with on the Kylie shop I didn't get any of them but it has that camo um, print this one is naked this is birthday suit this is Commando, and this is Bear. So all of these are supposed to dry matte. Obviously, they're just they're drying still right now. They have the you can choose between the matte and the velvet matte. I'm a matte kind of girl. I don't really like my lips being shiny that much. Sometimes I'll do a gloss, but rarely. This naked shade is literally the almost the color of my skin. I was swatching it. And when it was wet, it was kind of hard to see. And I'm like, dang, that really is naked. You can barely see it. So I think to match my eyes today, I'm going to do birthday suit. Okay, so this color literally matches my eyes perfectly. It is a more, sorry, it is a more, let me think, caramel color. So this would be good for a lot more tan skin tones. I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite. I think I'm going to like, I'm going to like this shade definitely. I'm not hating it. It matches the eyes. I think it looks great. I love all of the nude colors. Plus, if I have a really tan friend come over there, if I do her makeup, then I can use that. So now I'm going to just highlight. That's my last step. I'm going to use this peach color in, um, I think it's in 90210. Now, actually, this is the last step. I'm going to put 90210 in my brow bone. Now setting spray. Okay guys, now that's the finished look. Um, that's the finished look and finished look. <laughs> and um, I give it, obviously, I knew I had high hopes for this. I, I mean, not high hopes. I knew that this I was gonna love this that's why I purchased it so I have two thumbs up nothing but love for these products I think you if you're a new lip person then you'll love these and if you're a um, into like bronzy summer kind of eyeshadows then you'll love the eyeshadow palette too so thanks for watching guys um, hit that like button it helps me subscribe on your way out if you could I would appreciate that and I'll see you in my next video.